Japan has frozen more than a billion dollars in aid to Sri Lanka as that country's political crisis deepens. Last week, President Maithripala Sirisena dismissed Prime Minister Rani Wickremesinghe and then replaced him with former President Mahinda Rajapaksa without the consent of Parliament. Rajapaksa now faces a no-confidence vote but it's being alleged that he's offering money and ministerial posts to opposition lawmakers to back him. Let's go to our correspondent, Bernard Smith. He's joining us live from the capital, Colombo. New pressure, Bernard, on leaders to resolve the crisis. New pressure, Liz, yes, particularly internationally. Japan is saying it's holding on to a $1.4 billion soft loan for a light rail project here in Colombo while it monitors developments. Put it up to that $480 million from the US's Millennium Challenges was for highways and infrastructure projects. That might be in question now if the US isn't happy about how uh, things develop in Sri Lanka. We've already had the EU uh, threatening to withdraw duty-free concessions from Sri Lanka if it doesn't continue uh, to adhere to democratic principles. But as well as international pressure, there is growing domestic pressure on the president to recall Parliament. It's unethical and despicable, says opposition MP Paratha Ranga Bandara, playing recordings of phone calls he says are from allies of Sri Lanka's new prime minister, Mahinda Rajapaksa. Ranga Bandara says he's been offered $2.8 million and a post in cabinet to switch sides. The scramble for votes has come after President Maithripala Sirisena suspended Parliament and fired his former ally, Prime Minister Ranel Wickremesinghe. Both men had joined forces in elections in 2015 to oust Rajapaksa. We formed this government democratically. My Tripala Sirisena joined us and described the Rajapaksa group as corrupt, thieving thugs and said he won't allow them to return. The fact he's doing just that is very shameful. Rajapaksa has appointed a cabinet which includes half a dozen opposition MPs who've been persuaded to join him. His supporters deny allegations that anyone has been offered cash. The president is accused of buying time for Rajapaksa by resisting calls to reconvene parliament ahead of a sitting on November 16th. A constitutional amendment passed two years ago was supposed to take away the president's power to fire the prime minister. Champika Ranawaka, a cabinet minister under ousted prime minister Whit Ramasinghe, says this government has no legitimacy. Rajapaksa will face uh, international and national, political, economic and social crisis. And at the meantime, we are going to form a a uh, grand alliance uh, beyond party lines to protect uh, Sri Lanka's democracy, protect uh, freedom of speech, and protect uh, human values. A petition that got 16,000 signatures in a day has been presented to the Speaker of Parliament, demanding he use special powers to recall the chamber over the head of the President. So Bernard, the President facing not just pressure, but risks too when Parliament finally resumes. Well, Liz, President Sirisena will only find out if his very high-stakes gamble has paid off when he recalls Parliament. If uh, Parliament endorses his choice of Mahinda Rajapaksa as Prime Minister, then the President will probably, may well get away with what many of his critics would say is an unconstitutional coup. But if Parliament decides to, to keep Rick Ramasinghe in post, then President Sirisena could face impeachment. Liz? Bernard, thank you very much for that. For now, that is Bernard Smith with the very latest live in Colombo. Thank you.